Okay, here's a little experiment I think you're going to enjoy tonight. It's based on the work of Donald Ro Dr. Ronald Stifler, and um, you should study his work before you try to do any of the stuff that I've been doing lately. Uh, Stifler Scientific is his website, and Dr. Ronald Stifler has um, developed this whole theory, and I would study him before you go any further at all if you're interested in this um, SEC idea. Anyway, somebody asked me if Maggie worked on this. No, she doesn't. And you can put Maggie anywhere near this thing. You can even stick her down in the water, and she won't work. Uh, she's an induction coil and doesn't work on this device. She needs a spinning magnet, and that's what I've got here. Now, I've got the water glass thing going again tonight with uh, two diodes uh, going into the water glass. One is the positive, one's the negative going back. And it's going into a capacitor over there into this little pulse motor that I built that spins up a magnet on that mirror. And it's running off of uh, five and a half volts tonight. And you can see I've got the, um, the energy coming in all around it again. And there's the energy in the water. And there's the energy from the little uh, tester eyes. And it's all over this thing. And in that glass of water, I've actually got the electrolysis going on while I'm charging the battery. You can see the little bubbles down in there, perhaps, on one of the electrodes. And then at the very bottom of that um, glass, um, you can see a brown residue that's coming off of the negative electrode in that uh, water glass. The camera's not going to pick this up too well, but the electrode on the left is producing hydrogen and bubbling, and the one on the right is uh, oxygen. And that's, uh, while it's charging up that capacitor right there, that's a, a super cap that's uh, loading up. And then I'm going to run this pulse motor to show you how that energy can be used to make Maggie work. And I've got the battery pulled on this uh, little pulse motor, and it's just going to be coming out of that uh, super cap there. I'll spin this up, and there goes that spinning up. You can see the little uh, LED indicator light as that fires. And then here's Maggie. If you put Maggie near that magnet, there goes Maggie. And that's how you can make Maggie work on this setup. You use a pulse motor. So that's the experiment for tonight. This is a very interesting uh, project we're working on here with this uh, spatial energy cohesion. And uh, I would study Dr. Stifler if you're interested in this first. And uh, go to his website, Stifler Scientific, and start studying his work. Uh, he developed all of this. We're just doing a, a side experiments, basically. But this is running off of uh, that water glass. And, uh, just thought I would show that to the folks tonight. That uh, these new uh, exciter circuits uh, work just like uh, some of the other stuff we've worked on before. And uh, pretty neat stuff. Maggie likes it as long as you give her a magnet. And she won't work if you don't have a magnet for her. Alrighty, thanks for watching.